Now at noon, President Trump is recovering at the White House now after a three-day stay at Walter Reed Medical Center to treat coronavirus symptoms. And while the president says you should not be afraid of the virus, the president's doctors say he is not out of the woods quite yet. CBS 4's Skyler Henry. Skyler Henry joins us live from the White House where the president is still being treated. Skyler, good afternoon. Maribel, good afternoon to you. Well, the president's doctors say that they will continue to keep a watchful eye on him and feel better about his condition should it continue to improve around this time next week. Meanwhile, here at the White House, we're learning that members of the West Wing, as well as the staff itself, are either quarantining or working from home. And those who do have to get in close contact with the president are wearing the appropriate PPE. President Trump is tweeting from the White House after his three-day stay at Walter Reed Medical Center. This morning, he again compared the coronavirus to the flu, tweeting, we have learned to live with the flu just like we are learning to live with COVID, which he said is far less lethal than the flu. He appeared to struggle catching his breath after climbing the White House stairs last night, then taped a message and playing down the virus the threat. Don't let it dominate you. Don't be afraid of it. You're going to beat it. More than 210,000 Americans have not beaten COVID. And the president has returned home to a hot spot with at least 18 infections among his staff and White House guests. We have to assume that, that the president still is contagious, that he's shedding virus. You're not considered free of the ability to infect somebody else for about 10 days after you develop symptoms. President Trump will continue coronavirus treatments at the White House, and his doctors say he's not out of the woods yet. We know that first week people can have symptoms that, that can be serious, but they may, they may be relatively milder than the second week when you suddenly get inflammation, this inflammatory phase, and that's where people can really very quickly go south. The president's team has not shared some key details about his condition. In a new poll from Axios, 23% of those surveyed say the president being COVID positive makes them less likely to trust him to provide accurate coronavirus information. 17% say it makes them more likely to trust the president. Now, just a short time ago, we learned that the White House's communications director hinted that we may in some capacity hear from the president a little later today. We're also learning that Vice President Mike Pence tested negative for the coronavirus earlier today. He's in Utah preparing for his debate against Senator Kamala Harris. We're here at the White House. I'm Skyler Henry, CBS 4 News. Skyler, thank you. And President Trump is maintaining he will be debating in South Florida a week from Thursday. About an hour ago, he tweeted that he's looking forward to the debate against Joe Biden in Miami, adding it will be great. No word on any changes to the format because of his diagnosis.